Good day. My name is Mark Malore. I'm an attorney here with the Malore Law Firm. I have some clients in Lucerne Valley that I wanted to take a moment out and talk with you about mechanics liens. Whether you're a homeowner or a contractor trying to get paid on a project, uh, you want to pay particular attention to the statutory framework governing mechanics liens and mechanics liens law in California because it's very strictly construed and if you don't comply with it, uh, enforcing your mechanics lien or being able to have it expunged um, is highly probable. So let's talk about a few things. First, you have to be in direct contractual privity with the owner of the uh, property or the project you're working on in order to not be required to file what's called a 20-day preliminary notice. And when I say file, what I mean to, to say actually is send that by certified mail return receipt requested and keep the return receipt requested card. If you're a contractor and you're a subcontractor of a general, on a project, then you want to make sure you file your 20-day preliminary notice within 20 days of uh, mobilizing on the project. If you're a homeowner and you've got subcontractors working on your project, you want to make sure that they're filing their 20-day preliminary notices. If they're not, um, they don't have the ability to record a mechanics lien later on, so that's very important to keep track of. The second thing that we want to look at is mechanics lien. When can we record a mechanics lien on a particular project or against a homeowner for not being paid? Well, we look to, to first to the last day that the contractor at issue was working on the project. You have 90 days from the last date you were working on the project to record your mechanics lien if you're being unpaid, if you're unpaid for the project. but. If you've let a longer period of time pass, like four months or five months, um, mechanics lien is no longer a possibility and you've waived your rights to record that mechanics lien. Unless, of course, you come back to do some finish work or cleanup work or punch items, um, and in that case, you could reinvigorate the time frame with which to record your mechanics lien. If you're a homeowner dealing with a contractor's mechanics lien, you want to make sure that they recorded it within the 90-day period from the last time they were at your project. Otherwise, the mechanics lien valid and there's a special motion in the civil code that we can file to have that expunged from your property profile. Um, then finally, that's not the end all be all with mechanics liens. If you haven't, uh, if you've recorded your mechanics liens in the proper time frame, then the next thing you have to do is file a lawsuit to enforce or foreclose on the mechanics lien. If you don't file that lawsuit within a 90-day period from the recording date of that mechanics lien, mechanics lien will no longer be valid and it'll be unenforceable if you were trying to enforce it later on in some sort of lawsuit or court action. You'd have to get it expunged. And again, if you're the owner of a project or a homeowner and you've got a mechanics lien on there and it's been on the property of record for longer than 90 days, um, you can have that expunged because the contractor at issue didn't enforce his mechanics lien rights within the 90-day period. And if they haven't done that, then their mechanics lien is no longer valid and they can't record that against your property. Some of the statutory and time frame issues you have to look at with regarding mechanics liens, you want to take a look at those time frames that I gave you. Uh, those will help you to enforce or fight mechanics lien against your property. If you have any other questions, feel free to give me a call at the Malora Law Firm, set up a consultation, I'd be happy to talk with you.